Go Jets, go! Crown Royal Canadian Whiskey. Is this worth having on hand? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Hey folks, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube sharing whiskey awesomeness in Winnipeg, Manitoba, the center of North America, the home of the Winnipeg Jets. Go Jets, go. Let's check out Crown Royal. Crown Royal, their fine deluxe. That's their standard whiskey. And this one is the Crown Royal well, Winnipeg Jets limited edition. Let's get that open. Okay, got it out. All right, so there is your standard Crown Royal, but this is the Winnipeg Jets edition. This came out in 2016. And the Winnipeg Jets, the reason why that I want to do this now is that the Winnipeg Jets are about to go into the playoffs for the second time in uh, their sort of rebirth, which happened, I think, 2011, if memory serves correct. And I'll just pull out one of these tumblers. So you get two tumblers and they've got the uh, Crown Royal bottom there and the Winnipeg Jets emblem on the front. Okay, so that's what you get. And I think it's the same price as your standard Crown Royal uh, Fine Deluxe. We're going to check that out. We're going to open it up and we'll try, uh, we'll check out the color of Crown Royal. Uh, I'm going to use a, a Glencairn glass and see how it is. Uh, we'll check out the color, we'll check out the legs, the nose, the palette, and the finish. And then I'll try it with some ice as well, because I know a lot of people like it that way. Um, I have some ginger ale, I can even do a crown and ginger too. Okay, so let's get it open first of all. Okay, got it. Okay, so that's 40% ABV. That is the best selling Canadian whiskey in the world. And I've never had this particular Crown Royal on the channel yet. I have had, let's see, Crown Royal Black. I've had Crown Royal Hand Selected Barrel, which is available in the USA. And anything else from Crown Royal? I think that is it. Anyway, let's get it opened. Okay. All right, let's pour that into my Glencairn glass. Probably most people would not drink their Crown Royal in one of these, but it does help you get a little bit more scent from the whiskey. So if you're interested in whiskey itself, and you want to know how Crown Royal smells and tastes, you need a Glencairn or some other nosing glass. Okay. Now this one is um, fermented and distilled right here in Manitoba at Gimli, Gimli, Manitoba. I believe it's bottled in Ontario, in fact. So it goes here, it goes over there, it comes back again. But uh, beautiful presentation, especially in that Winnipeg Jets edition box. Probably could have uh, maybe thrown that up on Kijiji and gotten some more cash out of that, but... You know, I've been dying to just put the straight Crown Royal on the channel. So here we go. All right. So first of all, the color, fairly dark hue, your standard amber, maybe amber plus two or so, a dark amber, um, copperish. Anyway, quite dark. I believe there's a bit of color added to that. That is not um, outside of the, the law in Canada. So that would be spirit caramel or caramel color called E150A. And this is a blended Canadian whiskey, but it's a single distillery whiskey. So this will be a, a variety of different types of mash bills, different types of whiskeys that are aged and then blended after the fact before bottling. All right, so let's check out the legs of Crown Royal. Okay, so here we go. Quick legs as you'd expect from something 40% and fairly young. This is probably four or five years old. I wouldn't put it more than six. I would really doubt it. In fact, it might be straight three for some of the components. Okay, let's check out the nose.
light whiskey with a little hint of rye there. So you've got a, a sweet, kind of a caramel taste, a caramel scent. Something a little bit um, green, a little bit um, minty perhaps. Certainly a nice nose for a whiskey this age. And definitely tells me that this is a relatively well-aged, well-mature spirit, despite the young age. Now, so it's a blended Canadian whiskey. At Crown Royal, what they do is they have two different base whiskey um, mash bills, base whiskey, um, and those are made in, uh, well, they're all made in column stills, um, maybe some pot stills in there too, but these are made in, in column stills to a very high proof and then barreled at a lower proof and then aged for a period of time. And then to that, they add some bourbon style um, whiskey, rye style whiskeys, and they get their signature Crown Royal flavor here. And there's a reason why it's so popular because it just has a nice light scent, not too heavy, not too young, very um, uh, a very fresh nose and it's not harsh. All right, well, let's check out the palette then. Cheers everybody and again, go Jets, go! Let's hope that they do something special with the 2019 playoff series in the NHL. All right. Hmm. You get that rye hit in there, but it's very smooth. The base whiskeys are made very, very carefully to provide that smooth backbone. And then you get that spicy rye coming through, which really lifts the whiskey up and makes it something that you can sip on its own. I would suggest to chill it a little bit, um, put it in the basement, or uh, maybe stick it in the fridge for an hour or two. Uh, I think it's better a little bit cooler than, uh, than just at room temperature. Hmm. The more you taste it, the more you get that rye note coming through. And let's remember to Canadians, this is this is just called rye. This is rye. This is the, uh, it's kind of like the most common thread of rye throughout the country. Yeah, you've got your Weisers and your Gibsons. You've got your Shenley Golden Wedding and um, uh, your Seagrams. Um, but... Pretty much in every single bar, you'll have a bottle of that uh, ready to be mixed or you serve it neat. It's available all over the world. This is the most exported Canadian whiskey in the world and one of the top selling whiskeys, outright whiskeys in USA. And probably I want to say top 20, maybe top 30 in the world for volume. Uh, unfortunately, the Indian market. Indian whiskeys take almost all of the top 10 um, for volume sales for whiskey, but Crown Royal is definitely up there. And again, that's owned by Diageo. Diageo, the same company that makes Johnny Walker, that makes uh, Lagavulin and uh, Dalwini, Oban, uh, Oban, pardon me, uh, Kulila, Talisker, mm, Glen Kinchy, Singletons. You know, you name it, they make it huge portfolio. They um, they also have a bourbon brand called Bullet, Bullet Bourbon. Hmm. The more I sip it, the juicier it gets and the spicier it gets too. So that's nice. I'm really enjoying the fact that this is my 
this is my province, the product of my province. And it goes everywhere all over the world, just like the Winnipeg Jets. Now, I wonder who your favorite Winnipeg Jet is. Um, mine would be um, would be Ehlers because, well, first of all, he's Danish. And I have Danish heritage. My father was born there. Um, he also does some great things on the ice. And he's super fast. So that's cool. But really stacked um, uh, roster for the Jets. I just wonder if they just need a couple more years to really hone their skills, not just on the ice, but also um, some um, sports psychology training so that they know that, you know, you have to save the best for the last, you got to save your best for the third period. It doesn't matter whether you're up uh, 2 nothing or 3 nothing by the end of the second period, you got to just pummel them in the third period so save save a bit of gas in the tank that's my uh, my two cents and this is coming from me i have never played hockey in my life all right hmm it's very smooth it's very clean the finish is sweet bitter dry and then five minutes or so that it's all gone. The flavors last about uh, 20 or 30 seconds. So um, a short to medium finish for Crown Royal Fine Deluxe. Quite the history for this bottle. And uh, let me just read this back here for you. True character is revealed in the company we keep. That's why we're proud partners of the Winnipeg Jets. To learn more about the unique taste of Crown Royal and mixing made easy, visit us at www.crownroyal.ca. And then some French. I'm going to add a tiny bit of water just to see what happens. And then after that, we'll add some ice because I know that's how many people will enjoy that. Just a tiny couple drops of water there. I'm giving Crown Royal the full review because it deserves it being what it is, being the top selling Canadian whiskey. It really deserves the full review um, so we can ascertain, you know, how good it is compared to the whole world of whiskey out there. It gets a bit fruitier on the nose with water added. So I'm getting some green fruit, some uh, light apple, um, green grapes. Cinnamon stick is coming through here, like a sweet cinnamon. Hint of ginger. Mm. The water really accentuates the rye note um, in the palate. So it uplifts it a little bit in terms of the spice, spiciness. The finish is pretty much the same. Mm. No, it's very nice. Now, let me just get some ice and we'll see how that does with ice added okay bear with me all right there we go now i'm going to throw that in a nice big fat tumbler these ones would need washing so i won't use that beautiful as they are and we'll throw in my crown royal in there i think i need a little bit more just for the beauty you know, there is something elegant about a rocks glass with ice and uh, and some whiskey in there. Cool it down. And remember, uh, folks, and especially to my, my brothers and sisters here in Winnipeg, if you're adding ice at home, 
the smaller the ice cubes, the faster they melt. So if you can get some uh, bigger cube trays or something like these, these are brains actually, or um, a ball, ice cube balls, um, or chip it yourself. Um, you can you can just get a uh, some kind of a container or a, a empty two liter bottle and uh, fill it up with um, distilled water, ideally, or with the filtered water. Freeze it, uh, get it out of that uh, plastic with some scissors, and then chip your own ice cube. But the bigger the ice cube is, the slower the melt, and uh, the better the whiskey will taste over the long term. All right, anyway, let's taste that with ice. Really brings the spice out. <clears throat> now, this is probably one of the favorite drinks of my buddy Bart. So, to my friend Bart, hey there, how are you doing? Go Jets and um, trying out your drink here on Whiskey Whistle. Yep, and every time we go there... In the summertime, this is probably his favorite go-to whiskey. And it doesn't cost much. You know, it's maybe, let's see, about less than $30 for 750 milliliters. So you're talking like just a little bit more than a dollar a drink. Compared to beer, this is actually less expensive than beer per, per serving. Interesting. Hmm. No, that is nice with ice. Oh, I forgot the ginger ale. All right, let's add the ginger ale and then we'll close up the review. Here we go. We'll certainly add some fizz to it. It'll be much sweeter. But, you know, Crown Royal and Ginger Ale are a perfect combination for, you know, your just simple type of a cocktail to make at home or something simple to order that tastes good. The Ginger Ale really takes over, but that Crown Royal Rye adds a little bit of spice to it. Mmm. Oh, that is nice. All right, well, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Crown Royal Fine Deluxe. What is that going to be? Well, folks, the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Crown Royal Fine Deluxe, that's going to be 78 out of 100. Yep, you heard right. 78 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Crown Royal Fine Deluxe. It's spicy, it's smooth. I wish it were higher, maybe 43% or even 46. That would be killer. But they do make Crown Royal Black at 45%. So if you want something stronger, you can go that way. And if you're in USA, check out the hand-selected barrel because it'll just knock your socks off. Really great stuff. All right. Anyway, so 78. Thanks so much for watching. Click that link right over here to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. And join the Whiskey Whistle crew on Patreon, patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. All right? Take care, everybody. And to the Jets, you kick the mass, kick the masses in the playoffs, all right? Take care now. Goodbye. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now, and we'll see you next time.